Love, love, love line is meant for an adult audience. Love line may contain sexually oriented content. Listener discretion. Hey, what? hey what? You, you don't have to yell. What? You don't have to yell. Listener discretion is advised. Now here's Love Line with Ricky Rackman, Dr. Drew, and Adam Carolla. Bob, you're hey. on Love Line. What's up, man? No, oh, nothing much. I'm just trying to get in to you guys for the last three days. Well, you're here now. Oh, Use that's it. good. Um, I got a question. I was uh, watching uh, a music channel, and I uh, seen that new Red Hot Chili Pepper video, man. Yeah. And at the end of it, it's really bad. Uh, I see Anthony and Keys, I guess the other guitar player they're making out. Dave Navarro. That. Yeah, what's going on with that? Well, let me tell you something, okay? Most guys, I find, love the idea of seeing women kissing women, okay? Right, right. Yeah. Guys it's healthy. don't like the idea of seeing guys kiss guys, okay? Most women, well, uh, I shouldn't say most. Some women think, eh, I guess it's all right to see women kissing each other, but they don't even think, like, they dig the whole guy kissing guy thing. Yeah. So I'm kicking back, okay? I'm watching that video with my wife. We're sitting there. The video's on, okay? And I'm sitting there, and, and I know both of the I know Anthony and I know David. So I'm watching the video, and I'm going, wow, they were kissing each other. Yikes. And I'm looking at her, and she's like, yeah, I went to play that video again. Girls, because women find both of those guys totally sexy. So, so you, you think it, she didn't? She wasn't just reacting because oh, she wanted to even the score sexually, or she really enjoyed it? I think she enjoyed seeing both those guys kissing each other. Oh, it really? Me, yeah, it made me kind of sick. But you know what? I don't know if both of those guys are, like, f fruity as much as they did it just kind of to shock each other or shock people. Publicity? No. They don't have to. These guys are huge. I think, they, I, think, I think both of those guys, I mean, Dave did it in, uh, he was in Jane's Addiction, and he did it in uh, Jane's Addiction videos, too. I think they just like to kiss each other and blow people away and yeah. I don't think it was such a big thing. And I mean, Ricky, it's something that bands have been doing for a long time. No, like, they haven't. Oh, yes. Like, uh, Guy Lombardo used to make out with his orchestra. <laughs> I'm serious. Les Brown? Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. He French kissed like the oboe player once? Yeah, but not in their in their rock video. Well, they didn't have videos back then. They just, they just had uh, Super 8. Hey, you know what, Rob? Yeah. Now, do you think it should have been edited out? Yeah, because that kind of, like, destroyed the image to me. I mean, I like Red Hot's are real strong and everything they like still that. still are. They show some, something like that that's kind of like, you know, I mean, coming out of the closet's different, but they did it on national TV. Hey, they didn't even say they were gay. They were just kissing each other. Yeah. Did I, when I see yeah. guys kissing each other, do I not like it? Hey, for me personally, I don't dig watching it, but I, I don't think they should take it out, and I think it's okay if you want to put that in a video. R Rob, here should be your approach to homosexuality. More chicks for Rob. <laughs> That's the way you got to look at right. it, Rob. More chicks for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. All and right. just think about it. How many girls do you know that love Dave Navarro and love Anthony? Oh, yeah. Everybody does. Well, maybe those girls might I not... Guys like him now, too, I guess. Well, there you go. Actually, Adam off the air was telling me about uh, a friend of his today. Yes. Those guys get more oh, chicks. Oh, okay. gay? Gay friend of mine? Right. Yeah. Same thing are you and he goes... I don't know, he's always pretty unprofessional, and uh, I'm going to have to, you know, talk to people, and I think you guys pretty, pretty much get your jobs goodbye, and I was just like... Well, Joey, I mean, I don't want to say you're not a good worker, but not only, I mean, you're at work, you're boning, you get caught by your boss, and then tonight... You've been on hold for an hour talking on talk radio show <laughs> at work. I mean, you, you, I'm not saying you're, I'm glad you did call us tonight, but I would think that your boss would have every reason to fire you. The worst part is, it was the boss's wife. Boss's <laughs> wife? Oh, well, just, you know. Ah, ah, ah. Thank you. Yeah. Joey, know, do, I, do you like your job? Yeah, I like my job. It's time to kiss ass. Am I a kiss ass? No, okay, become a kiss ass. I'm a kiss ass. Yeah, become a kiss ass or look for another job. Why don't you blow your supervisor? <laughs> that would be kind of interesting. Good night, Joey. Good night. Let's speak with uh, Dre. Dre, you're on Loveline. Whoa. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you mocking me? I don't have the time for that. Let's <laughs> be on hold for like an hour. Carl from Long Beach, you're on Loveline. Hey. <laughs> Should we go around the table? Mm. Yeah, you start. By myself or with a partner? With a partner. Weirdest place? Go, you go first. <laughs> no, no, you go first. You go first. Are you on, gonna, Drew is not going to even answer this <laughs> question. <laughs> we'll ask Anilo. Anilo, our producer. Anilo, where's the strangest place you ever had sex? The beach. Can nothing. The that? beach? Yeah. You, had it in the, you had it at the beach? Yeah, nothing exciting. On the sand? Sand crabs. Yeah. Sand, yeah. sand crabs. What about you, Adam? 
uh, concentration camp in Nazi <laughs> Germany in the late 40s. I'm serious. Uh, I, you know, this is the mo I know it sounds pathetic, but, but really, like, my sofa. Wow, that's seriously, strange. That, seriously. Yeah. Honestly, that's no strange. joke. That's the strangest place you've ever had sex. Where was the sofa at the time? So it was on <laughs> Mars. <laughs> no, I, no, I, in a car or something. I don't like that. I don't. It's too much distraction. I don't want to do it in an elevator. I don't want to get caught. You know I did it in an elevator. It had its ups and downs. You know, I, <laughs> you know, no, no, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I did actually do an elevator. I was thinking of the strangest place. I don't know. I got a bunch of pretty strange ones. You ever done it in a plane? Stable. No, I haven't done I've it in a plane. plane. I haven't. That's a very good. You know what? There's this company. Dance there's this company. Floor of a disco. There's a company in Santa Monica called Mile High Adventures. I know. And uh, I did That's it. That's all over the whole. Oh, oh they thing. have that. They have this company. Oh yeah, I did it. it was the best. I did it last Valentine's Day. With a, really? with someone else? You yeah, know, I'm, I'm gonna go up in a plane by myself and jerk off and spend 200 bucks <laughs> to jerk off. <laughs> and where's the where's the the captain and everything while this the, is going on? There's a up. partition. There was a partition, and you can't see him. And you, it's the I'm weirdest sure thing. With this, little no, let me tell you something about this place, okay? This is awesome. You go there, and, and you meet him on the runway, and it's this little plane, and the whole p captain's thing is covered up by this little wall. And then when he opens the back door, it's a little plane. All it is is like this down bed with a blanket oh with God. champagne, chocolate-covered strawberries, music. But it's like there's no seats. It's like it's obviously, you know, this guy knows you guys are going to go bone, you know. Do you have to take your own girl or do they supply what? one? They didn't, they didn't supply that. Oh. And, uh, For $200? It, it was awesome. I mean, <laughs> hey, the mine brown's only 40 that, The fact that I was done before we hit elevation was one thing. And then, okay, you know, and then, then the next, of the, the whole flight's 40 minutes. What am I going to do for the other 35 minutes? So you're you know, in the three-quarters mile high club. Well, you're okay, in that's the three-quarters right. like mile the, high club. I was like on the wheels weren't even up before I was done, okay? <laughs> you're in the three-feet club. What about you, Marty? Well, um, my friends, I think the weirdest place I ever did it was, like, in the pet store. With? With my boyfriend. Oh, good. No not pets. with a dog or anything. No was the pet pets. store, what, does he work at a pet store? No, we were just, like, looking for a present for his, um, sister. You mean the pet store was open and occupied? Yeah. Wow. Ex so explain this, story. Marty. Not in front of the hamsters, I hope. <laughs> Marty, explain this. Well, we were in the downstairs section where the lizards and the birds are. Oh, great. Lizards always do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well... Weren't there people walking around? Oh, no, this was like a slow day. Everybody's walking around why, wondering why the lizards all have boners, <laughs> like, for the next hour and a half. <laughs> I, I don't get this story, Marty. Why not? You guys are boning down in the middle of... And anybody could walk downstairs and see you guys there. Were yeah. you on the floor? Were you standing up, pressed against the glass? Put them on the glass. No, we were on the, against the wall. Okay, mm. thanks for your call. <laughs> Let's speak with Lee. Lee, you are on Loveline. Hey, Lee. Uh, say hello to Cassandra Peterson, a.k.a. Elvira. Hello, Cassandra. Hey, Lee. Um, How's it going? We, uh, okay, I'm serious, and me and my brother are twins, and we have a little stepbrother. And he, every night, he is always jerking off during the day, and then we can't bring no friends over to, you know, just kick back. So I was wondering what I could do. Wait, you can't bring your friends over because your brother's always jerking off? Yeah, his name is Daniel. Huh? His name is Daniel. How old is he? He's 14. Wow, in front of your friends? No. We don't what if you walk friends. in the room? Huh? What if you walk in the room? Beat the crap out of him. <laughs> oh, nice. Why don't you say, hey, don't jerk off, my friends are coming over. He, he don't care. And he'll just jerk in front of your friends? Yeah, he will. He's done before. In front of friends? He's a little pervert. Well, they, he needs some help. He is a pervert. Yeah, something wrong. I mean, that you don't beat him up because of that. I mean, can you tell your mom or dad? <laughs> they know. They, they know that little bro jerks off in the room and everybody comes home and he's like, mm. there's something, there's something <laughs> yeah, talk to him about it. Hi, Lee. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong there. There's something really wrong. That's no, not funny. Were you that way when he was 14? Were you that way? No. When you were 14? Not that damn much. <laughs> Oh, sure, in your perspective. At well, least, it's not, if somebody is that inappropriate, it's just something's wrong. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the poor guy needs help. It's not something to be disparaged. It's something that needs to be, you need to help him with. And if your parents can't do it. Well, Drew, I think, I think I, let me, let me intervene here. I mean, you, you have your field of expertise. Lee, <laughs> Lee, would you, this happened to me once when I was 17. Uh, my parents called an intervention, and the way that works is just a bunch of friends, family members show up at the house one day, and they just call him out into the living room, and they all just, you know, put on a pot of coffee and just confront him about this in front of uh, God and everyone. And, and uh, say, 
say, uh, you know, we love you very much, but uh, we love you first and your penis second, and we think you have a problem, and we just want to, we want to get, we want to, we want to run interference between you and the masturbation thing, and it's got to stop, and the madness. Intervention. And the insanity. Lee. And the insanity, insanity now. I, I'm, but you can do that, Lee, and that, that would be a nice way, a healthier way of handling yeah, this problem. Yeah, don't beat the crap out yeah. of him, okay? Uh, was, but, but wait a minute. But, uh, you, you had an intervention when you were 17. Yeah. A, a group called uh, MAM, Mothers Against Masturbation. <laughs> 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 Drew, did you believe that whole that whole line of crap? Well, I, you know, it's a real. Are you kidding? My folks still don't know I masturbate. <laughs> Nor should they. Nor should they. I kept it well I do now. Like everybody else should. I don't know what this guy's advertising for. He should be humiliated. You know what he is? He's trying to burn his little brother, and he's making up a story. Yeah, yeah. obviously. And his brother can, is yeah. listening to the radio at, at someone else's house. Jerking off. one 800 love 191 1-800-568-3191. Ricky Rackman, Dr. Drew, and Sir Adam Carolla. And joined this evening with uh, Cassandra Peterson, a.k.a. Elvira, who's going to have a word that you can guess. I love eating mm -hmm. women. Is And I was curious about ways that might make it safer to do that. Can you gargle with something or maybe eat a ham sandwich and have that kill the virus on the way down? Explain to me the ham sandwich illusion here. Well, what? Don't understand. There's a spam theory, true. I'm listening. It's documented I, in many of the medical journals. Yes, of course. Can Aren't you, you hit to it, Dr. Drew? No, I'm listening. Just quote the... The, the uh, tryptophan in the... Uh, in the uh, yeah, I thought it was the meat. jelly on the side of the ham. Well, that's but ham is not the same as the spam, right. though, is it? Ham doesn't work the same way as the spam, though. Well, it, the ham is in the spam family, yes. Oh. And um, <clears throat> anyway, like I was saying, the uh, tryptophan that's involved with the... Uh, ham, ham and the spam? Meat, Right. It sounds like Dr. Seuss over here. It kills the herpes virus. Yeah. And uh, now, now Drew's going to tell you his story, which I'm sure everybody listens and uses of the oral dam. Yeah. I mean, you can't. You can, there isn't. If there was something simple that could be done, to, we'd all be eating it. Yeah. I mean, the, for goodness' sakes, you know about it already. The fact is, if you are exposed to body fluid, you can transmit these viral diseases. The way to avoid transmission is to avoid the contact. You can use barriers like a condom. You can use a dental dam, this sort of thing, and that's it. Explain the dental dam. It's just, it's just like a sheet of latex, basically. You can, you can create your own if you want. If you take a, a dry condom and cut off the tip and then cut along the long axis. Am I, am I explaining this what one? What about yeah. saran wrap? I, it, I just don't think it is. You can use saran wrap? I, I'm not sure if you actually can. Yeah, a good tongue, you'll rip right through that stuff. Aluminum you really, foil? You really need latex. Yeah. And the latex, can the, then you, can, you have a sheet of latex. You need a cream. Couldn't you put a tube sock on your head, too, and <laughs> go at it? Hey, you know what? we got to play commercials right now. We'll come back. We'll play an Elvira song. <laughs> You're on Love Line. Yeah, hi. Real quick, bro. Okay. Cassandra, by the way, Saran Wrap does work. Good hit. Put a glob of lube underneath. You can go right on the clit. For some people, can't stand it directly. No, the, 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 oh, it's thank not, you. It's not, it, it doesn't penetrate, the viruses don't penetrate Saran Wrap? Uh, no, the pore size is small, and the manufacturers make it that right. way, so it doesn't evaporate. Good, don't thank you. Don't guarantee it, but it does work. Good. Oh, anyway, thank you. Thanks thank you. for the feedback. You mentioned to a woman named Amanda quite a while ago, she complained about, or talked about, not being able to orgasm out a vibrator. That right. actually is fairly common. Amanda, congratulations. Men, women years ago thought they were inorgasmic. And if you manage to try all this stuff with your boyfriend, you're doing way better than most people around here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Watch your language, Andrew. What? Yeah, Watch your language. You said the F word. Three guys present here. Andrew? Anyway. We messed up his rhythm. Okay. Go ahead. Let me ask you a question. To the doctor. Yeah. Um, the other day, I was, um, a friend of mine was, well, doing the effort to me, um, up the butt indeed, with a handle, a very nice whip I have. See, that's why he, that's why he <laughs> recommends sticking it up the butt, because he likes that kind of stuff. Not all chicks like things rammed up there, well, Andrew. They're very small, like shaped ones that work. We'll put it up his butt. Anyway. Um, Andrew, what haven't you stuck up there? Yeah, I do. Anyway. <laughs> they the found the OJ murder weapon up there. Anyway, the condom over this, this thing broke. And now I have all this yucky brown stuff, which I won't mention because that might be another swear word, um, all, over the, all over the lovely braided handle. And I tried scrubbing it clean, but I still got a little faint odor to it. Oh, my. And the doctor have to know what you can do to clean off leather because this thing is nice. I don't want to throw it out. Oh. 
I have no soaking idea. it in baking soda and vinegar mixture Is usually right? works. For uh-huh. leather? Yeah, for leather usually and works. We, we so surgical me. instruments, you have to do gl- like, glutaraldehyde. Always tell him to have a good... Pour vinegar on top? Always tell him to take a good dump before you do that kind of stuff. You know, Andrew, don't go out to dinner and then stick it uh, up. There, there, are, there are enzymatic... I get it. It's no time with enema, and, well, we didn't quite notice. Because, you know, if it's on your penis, you notice, but if it's not, well... There are enzymatic cleaners out there, too, for, for surgical equipment and whatnot that you can help take this kind of stuff off. You know, let's all go out and have dinner right now. What do you think? Mmm, <laughs> monster. Andrew, thanks a lot for your call, and what a, what a perfect way to end this evening. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I get that in. Cassandra right Peterson, a.k.a. Elvira, very busy month. <laughs> very busy month for me, and don't forget I'll be in Denver on the 30th at the Labyrinth. Okay. For those of you in Thank Colorado. You, very much. you have been listening to Love Line. The opinions expressed by Ricky Rackman, Dr. Drew, Adam Carolla, or anybody else on this program are not necessarily anyone's. Love Line producer, Ann Wilkins. Thank you.